the quietest them kids have ever been back there. <laughs> we could hold freeze frame. <laughs> Your wire. <clears throat> the true meaning of Christmas. The candy cane is a long time Christmas tradition. Everywhere we look, we see them. They are used as decorations on Christmas trees, and of course, they are one of the most popular Christmas treats. I wonder how many more we would see on trees if people knew the legend behind the candy cane. Would you like to hear the legend of the candy cane? Mm -hmm. According to the legend, this candy was first created back in, in the 18th century. At that time, in certain areas of Arab, there was said to be a ban on public displays of Christianity. Christians were oppressed and no Bibles or crosses could be owned at the time. One man found this oppressing, distressing, and wished he could share the love of Jesus and the joy of Christmas with the rest of the world. When Christmas came around, children get to, didn't get to see nativity scenes or enjoy learning the truth of Christmas. As candy maker, this man prayed to find a way that he could offer local children a Christmas gift that would allow him to communicate and share the real story of Christmas. His prayers led to an idea, the candy cane. Here is how. The shepherd's staff. He chose to make the candy in the sh shape of a shepherd's staff. After all, Jesus is the shepherd to his followers, and the Bible notes that the sheep would hear his voice and follow him. Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. John 10, 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So, as you look at the candy cane, let it remind you that Jesus is our shepherd, and he will keep us from wandering away and getting lost or hurt. Now, if you flip the candy cane the other way, it looks like the letter J. Jesus starts with the letter J, so that it should remind us of Jesus and to help us remember that Christmas is Jesus' birthday, the day he was brought to us, the most precious gift we will ever receive. Luke 131, and behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Matthew 121. And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He is our he is to everyone a rock. The candy maker chose hard candy for the candy cane, which was done to remind us that Jesus is our rock, dependable and strong. Psalm 31 3. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, your name's sake, lead me and guide me. <laughs> By his stripes. The candy maker then chose to make the candy white with red stripes, representative of the crucifix crucifixion and the blood Jesus shed for our sins. White, he makes us pure. He made the candy mostly white because white is a symbol of purity. This should remind us that Jesus is the spotless Lamb of God, and that because he came to sacrifice us for our sins, we can now become white as First John 1 John 1.7 But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. First John 3.3 And every man who has this hope in him purifies himself, even as he is pure. Red signifies his bloodshed. As you know, the candy has red stripes. The Bible tells us that before he was crucified, Jesus was beaten with a whip and made blood red stripes across his back. The Bible says that we are healed by those stripes. Revelation 1.5 And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him who has loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish and have everlasting life. Luke 22.20 Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, this, is the, this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. This 
stripes on the candy cane to remind, remind us that Jesus suffered and died. For our stripes, his blood makes us pure so that we can have everlasting life. Sweet, sedgy flavor. Peppermint was the flavor the candy maker chose because it was very similar to hyssop, which was used for sacrifice and purification in the Old Testament. Psalm 51.7 Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. John 10.29 My Father, which gave them to me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hands. Matthew 2.11 And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him, gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So let the scent and the flavor of the candy cane remind us of the purification with hyssop and the sacrifice Jesus made for us. It also reminds us of the spices brought by the wise men that came to visit Jesus. Broken for us. Of course, when the candy cane is eaten, it is often broken, which the candy maker meant as a reminder that when Jesus was crucified, his body was broken. <coughs> Corinthians 11.24 And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Love of Jesus. The candy cane was also made to be given as a gift, representing the love of Jesus when he came to give us the gift of salvation. To many people, the candy cane is a meaningless decoration seen at the Christmas time or just a piece of candy to be eaten and enjoyed. I hope that this year, every time you see a candy cane, you'll be reminded of the true meaning of Christmas.
Você tá bom? Tem já. shepherd who keeps us from harm. We thank you that because of his suffering and death on the cross, we have life everlasting. Help us to remember that we find the true meaning of Christmas in him. Amen. That concludes the little program today. Thank you so Now we're going to have them all come back and we're going to actually do the morning worship with the songs that are going to be sang at the...